All right, YouTube world, we're gonna remove the magnetron and I guess we can remove the capacitor and the transformer, the different things in here. I'm gonna kind of show you how to do it safely. I was trained, I actually used to work for Sears and I went to their school in Chicago and that's where I was trained. And what you have is you have screws around the backside and this whole top cabinet kind of clamshells on here and it's held down by screws. So you get screws in the side, then you have security bit screws in the back, which you use a star bit, I think it's a 10 or 15 yeah it's a 15 and it has to be the one with the hole in it you can get that the little set of those security bits at Sears or any other real hardware store package true value has them whatever hardware store you have in your town they usually have the screw bits Lowe's Home Depot will have them and so you just go ahead and remove them uh, you do want to make sure it's unplugged and if you're not comfortable working on something with high voltage then don't work on it because the high voltage side of this which is the capacitor does retain electricity and there's a way to discharge it I'm gonna show you how to do that so I removed the ones in the back side let me get this one right here the Phillips on the side and every microwave is a little different so I'm just gonna have to figure it out as you go that was there so what you do is you're gonna take it and you go pull it back like this because it clips into the front here this one is kind of beat up, see? There you go. Got one more right there. This was from our microwave testing yesterday, so we might as well do a how-to while we add it. There's not one on that side. We'll go ahead and pull it off. The right, thing clams off. I'll flip it around and we'll take a look at it. There's our magnetron, that's what we're after because it has batteries. This is our transformer. Uh, let's, it's all burned up now, isn't it? There's our capacitor down here. It's all kind of burned in there. And there's our fan motor. Um, what you have to do to get this to be safer to work on, now there's a diode that comes off that capacitor and that is what normally discharges the capacitor. But if for whatever reason, if it's bad or it's not working right, you have to discharge it. And the best thing to use is Klein tools because you know Klein or uh, have electro, electrical resistance to them. And you'll put one on one terminal on the metal, and you put the other one on the other terminal on the metal, and you touch them together. And that will discharge them safely if they have any voltage left to them. Now, since that is discharged, we're just going to unplug it or magnetron. and take the shield off of it. And that shield is there to uh, stop any leakage. What happens is this battery gets cracked, not the battery, excuse me, the magnet. The magnet on the magnetron gets cracked or the little seal, the little seal that the um, magnetron has starts to leak. That is to stop it from hitting the board and um, ruining the board. So the shield's off. We got four screws here. And so what's happening is we want to get the magnets out of the magnetron. Because you can use the magnets for all kinds of things. I don't really care about the magnetron. The weak little magnetron anyway. Okay. So there's the seal on the magnetron. That's usually what, what's leaking, what, what makes them bad. But this one wasn't bad. We just couldn't kill the microwave. You see he had two round magnets right there. And what you have on this one is you have a set screw right there. Usually you have to pry the top off. The ears are bent down and it's kind of pressed on and you have to just pry it apart. But this one has a set screw that's holding the top piece on. And it has one on the other side. So this is actually kind of nicer than most of them you'll see. Most of you will see you'll have to pry apart with a screwdriver. And there's your magnet. There's our filaments down there. Okay, break those little filaments. Just pull that magnet off. And you got a little bitty magnets too in there. 
which we have right there. Nice, nice magnets. And this is, like I said, is a small microwave, so the magnets are smaller, of course. Be careful that you don't break the magnet. There you go. Get that ring off. And there are two magnets. That's pretty much all I'm going to savage at this one. I'm not going to take any of the other stuff. I don't care about the high voltage transformer. Or any of the other parts. The rest of them go to the garbage can now. Alright, thank you guys. Subscribe and like.